A dream vacation ends in tragedy for a man from suburban Chicago. Liviu Chuprachuk drowned trying to save his girlfriend in the waters off Honolulu. CBS 2's Roseanne Tejas talked with the young man's family here. 23-year-old Liviu Chuprachuk of Niles shared moments from his Hawaiian adventure on Instagram, but later his girlfriend ran into trouble on the slippery rocks. As soon as she called out for help, my little brother Without hesitation, he jumped into the water. He did as much as he could to push her as close as he could to that shoreline. While she was rescued, Chuprachuk did not make it out of the water in time. Rescue crews could be seen trying desperately to revive him with no success. It didn't surprise me, you know, that, that he would risk his life to save someone else's life. Um, it didn't surprise me at all. He had a heart of gold. His brother says he loved his family and the outdoors and was a very strong swimmer. But you, when you're fighting waves in the ocean like that, you, you can't beat Mother Nature. He worries about the 19-year-old girlfriend left behind. It's something that I think is going to weigh heavy on her, and I just hope that, I hope that she can move past it, and I hope that she doesn't blame herself in any way. It's a painful loss, but the older Chooper Chuck says he's proud of Liviu. My little brother died a hero, and uh, that, that makes me happy, and it gives me peace in my heart. His brother says Chuprachuk planned to become a nurse or a firefighter because he wanted to help people. His dreams cut tragically short, Erica. He'll be remembered at a wake on Friday. Uh, so he was there with his girlfriend. Was there any other family present on this trip? Right. Well, they actually went with the girlfriend's family, and I believe one other family member was with them during this event. But uh, he was just, the waves were just too strong for even this strong oh. swimmer who tried so hard and did in fact save his girlfriend's life. Such a tragedy. We are glad she did survive though. Mm. Thank you, Roseanne.